Atlanta's mayor, Keisha Lance Bottoms, signed a stay-at-home order. And to really understand what that means, we need some context. My name is Joseph, and this is AJC In Context. Another in context while I am social distancing. Now, for this video, I will be referring to several stories from our website, AJC.com. I've linked them all down below, so if you want to read them or you just don't feel like watching me, you can do that with ease. Now, while state and local governments can work together, they are two separate entities. And in order to understand the mayor's decision, we need to look at it in concert with choices made on the state level. So we'll start with state and then move to local. Also, this list is by no means exhaustive just the highlights. So in an interview with our very own Greg Bluestein, Georgia Go Governor Brian Kemp detailed some of the steps he's taking to combat this global pandemic. The governor has banned many public gatherings, closed bars and nightclubs, and has authorized officials to shut down any business that does not comply with social distancing standards laid out by the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. He has also ordered the medically fragile to stay at home, but nothing more widespread than that on a statewide level. Which brings us to the local level with Atlanta's mayor, Keisha Lance Bottoms. She has implemented a more sweeping 14-day stay-at-home order to help fight the, the, the spread of COVID-19. Now, aside from the exceptions for essential businesses and services, all Atlanta residents are directed to stay inside their homes according to this executive order. Now, you're probably wondering how the government even defines what an essential business is. Now, every government, whether they're state or local, tends to have their own definition. But, as our very own Matt Kepner explains, there tends to be some overlap. Food, delivery only, law firms, stores, hardware and thrift stores, dry cleaners, veterinarians, ex exterminators, banks, these are all pretty common things that have been deemed essential. Now for Atlanta specifically, grocery stores, gas stations, pharmacies, laundromats, parks, and the Atlanta Beltline have all been deemed essential services or businesses. Pretty much anything that would cause a major dysfunction if it was shut down is deemed essential. Now, in addition to that, the order says that the city's homeless population is exempt, but are urged to find shelter. So, what, what do you think about all of these measures on a state and local level? What businesses do you deem essential? Let me know any and all thoughts in that comment section down below. And hey, while you're down there, go ahead and press that subscribe button if you haven't already, or press the follow button, depending on where you're watching this. Press the like button if you liked it, favorite if you really liked it. But as always, Internet, my name is Joseph Ferguson, and this has been AJC in Context.